Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Working with PHP. In this episode, we're going to learn about the session Super Global. Now, uh, in the last episode, we worked on this login form. We have the form here where you put in your username and password, click the login button, and then over here on the this submit script, we are able to take the uh, username and password, and then we can echo it out, and that's great. But if we want to use this on different pages other than just the submit page, like if we had, um, you know, an about, like a uh, user page where the user could see information, or if we wanted to access it on any other sort of page, like if they made a post or a comment and we want to be able to get their username to, you know, attach to their comment, that would be really hard to do in this current form. And also, as soon as I close out of the submit page, uh, the username and password variables are gone because they're just variables. They are very temporary. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at using the session array in order to save this data, and then we can access it in other files. So session is a super global, which means that you access it by using dollar sign underscore, and then it's going to be session in all caps, and I'll show that to you. And in being a super global, you can access it from anywhere in any context, just like post and get. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to call a function. There's a function called session start, and we want to use that as the first thing because we want to... Um, start the session. You need to use this on any page. Use on any page that uses session. You want to make sure that you do this session start so that it, you know, it'll get the data for you so that you can actually do this. So make sure that you call the session start function or else that will give you a problem. We can now access it by just using dollar sign underscore session and it is an array, so it'll work just like post and get. So let's say that we want to set some values. If we want to save the username to session, we can say dollar sign underscore session, and we'll put it at index username, and we'll say it's equal to username. And if we want to store the password, then we could just say password. Uh, but this is probably a bad idea. We don't really want to store the username and the password in the session, or else it could theoretically be accessed, and then someone would know your username and password. So that's probably not a good idea to store the password, so don't do this. But now, if I want to access this data in session, I could do it from anywhere. I submit it one time to the submit form, but as soon as I submit it, I now have this data saved in the session variable that I can get anywhere. If I want to access it, all I have to do is call that session variable, session array, and use the correct index. And then we'll just grab the password. Oops and password and that's all there is to it so we can take these variables which only exist on this one page at this one time and we can store them into a session so not only can you access them from other pages but you can also access them if you close out of the website quit your web browser and come back later so like with a login form you can access the username data, the, whatever their username is, and any other information that goes with the account on any page that you want without having to, you know, constantly, I don't know, log them in or always ask for their password on every single page, your username and password. So you can access it anywhere, and also the user doesn't have to log in every single time they open up the page, because this will save the data. Now the last important thing that you'll want to know is there's a function called session destroy. And you can do this when you uh, are done with your session data. So um, we can say use this to clear the session data. So we'll say like log out. When you have the user log out, you can just call session destroy, and that will get rid of all of the data 
that is saved in session so that the next time they log in it'll be a completely clean slate and there won't be you know one or two extra indices lying around that could get confused. So that's all for this video that we now have a fully functioning uh, login form and now if you ever want to access a username and password from any page you can just use the session uh, array, the super global, and then the indices of username and password. So at this point, you could now take this code and write a working website that has some sort of an account system. Save the data, keep them logged in. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon with some more coding. Bye for now.